Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ryan Retro channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new build of Simu for the Odin 2 portal. I have the frame counter at the top of the screen. And if we tap on the three dots up here and come to graphics packs, where possible, I have gone into each game settings and changed the resolution up to 1080p. So let's start by jumping into Lieutenant Frog Bounty Finder. And if you saw yesterday's video testing this game on the Retroid Pocket 5, you will have seen that I experienced some slowdown when compared to the original secret console. But I'm happy to say that that is not present here whatsoever. Here it's running extremely smoothly, just as it should be. It doesn't matter if I'm zoomed in, zoomed out, everything is extremely fluid. If I come up here and grab this pickaxe, oh no, he's guarding it. You can see everything is really, really smooth. It is a much nicer experience actually than the original Secret Console hardware because the screen on this is just far nicer. And in fact, let's quickly compare the two. This is the original version of the Secret Console that I bought quite a few years ago before the OLED model came out. I wish I had the OLED version so we could get more of a fair comparison. But just to compare the original LCD version of the Secret Console with that beautiful OLED on the Odin 2 portal, there is no contest whatsoever. It is just far nicer here. With the upscale 1080p texture, it just looks gorgeous. And the ergonomic grip of the portal is also far more comfortable than the Secret Console. So if I had a choice which device to play this game on, it would be this, hands down. So with this game working absolutely beautifully, let's jump into some other games. A Wii U exclusive now, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. This game makes use of the touchscreen, and thankfully we do have a nice touchscreen here. And with the screen being 120 hertz, it's actually when you interact with the touchscreen that it becomes very noticeable. Most Simu games will be locked to 60 frames per second, but it's when you interact with the touchscreen that you feel how smooth it is. So touchscreen games feel very nice here. So if you'd like to play this Wii U exclusive game, you absolutely can, it works very nicely. Let's now move on to another Wii U exclusive. Devil's Third is another Wii U exclusive title. Unfortunately, you're going to see something that's not quite right with this as we get into the gameplay. Now you may not have played this game before, but I can assure you, this is not how it's meant to look. And also quite unfortunately, this is how quite a few games are running on the Odin 2 portal with Simu right now. There seems to be a problem loading the textures as they keep appearing and disappearing off the screen. Just so you know, I'm running this in performance mode, so you might be able to hear the fans a little bit here. I found that any of the games I want to play run at a full 60 frames per second in performance mode, so I don't see a need to push it any higher. It also doesn't help with things like this. And I've also looked through the graphics pack settings where we can change the resolution, but that also doesn't help, unfortunately. So while we're on the topic of games that don't work, you may have seen yesterday's video where I tried FIFA 13 on my Retro Pocket 5, and unfortunately we have the exact same problem on the portal where the game loads up, you hear the sound of the game, but it's just a black screen. Minecraft is a similar situation where the game loads up and then immediately crashes, and Batman Arkham City Armored Edition either just completely crashes like this when you try to load it, or if you try again, it has those same problems we saw in Devil's Third, where things are invisible or they're flickering all over the screen. If I turn up the volume, you can hear the game is actually loading and working. I'm able to strike people, as you can hear by their reactions and see by the screen jumping around, but we're not actually able to see who we're striking. But there is a little tip in there that if some of the games aren't loading, try them again, because some just need a couple of times before they'll load properly. Now let's quit out of this and jump into some games that are working. Beginning with the game that I think is potentially the most beautiful game ever made. One that I showed in yesterday's Retroid Pocket 5 video, and that is the little prince boy, the Breeze Ariser. I have this upscaled to 1080p, and I've also increased the shadow quality to 200%. If you look at the frame rate at the top of the screen, we're at a very solid 30 frames per second. You'll occasionally see it go up and down a little bit, but it seems pretty consistent around 30. When I tried this on the Retroid Pocket 5, we got quite frequent dips down to the low 20s, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. The thing that really made it dip the most was smashing down these trees. So let's have a look up here at our frame rate when I do so here. And if you watch closely, you will have seen it didn't dip below 30. Now it might dip below 30 at some points, 
but so far it's very solid. But make sure you do your own testing because Outset Island is easier to run than some of the following islands of this game. And I have heard from members in my community that the performance does dip a little bit as you move on. But running around the beautiful Outset Island, it looks incredible. It won't be a surprise to anyone to know that Shovel Knight works absolutely beautifully, and there are many ways of playing this game, but I thought I would just show it as a game that looks great and runs great on Wii U as well. The screen on this device really is incredible, and when you get a game running well at 1080p, it just looks so nice. Another game I wanted to try was Wipeout, because I thought that meant the old futuristic racing games that I played in my childhood, but uh, it's actually not that at all. I seem to have picked up the wrong game because this is the TV show Total Wipeout. You know that crazy game show where you run around jumping on big red bouncy balls? I can't believe there's actually a game for this, but I am quite excited to play it. Ow! <laughs> Maybe this was the inspiration for Fall Guys. This is impossible. Well, this game is, I would say, interesting. It's honestly quite fun. This is one of those happy accidents where you go out to buy something, get the complete wrong thing, but still quite enjoy it. Now, I never expected I would do this, but I'm actually gonna play one more round. I came into this video expecting to show you some really cool games running here. Instead, I'm covered in cow feces and having the time of my life. Please nobody clip that out of context. We also have Yoshi's Woolly World working very nicely here at 1080p. We have a locked on 60 frames per second and it looks great. In the previous version of Simu, there was a problem with this game where Yoshi didn't have a face. He had a body all the way up to his shoulders and then just a void on top, a feeling I know all too well. But now after this latest Simu update, which by the way is linked in the description of this video, as there are a few around on the internet right now, and this is the good working one. Everything now is working really nicely. Our little dinosaur friend has his face back and everything's going great. So if you'd like to play this game, Wii U is a very viable option to play it. So if you'd like to play this game, it's one that's working really well right now. And one that's also very fun, so I can really recommend it. Let's just quickly do a test and see if we can stay in the game while turning off the screen. A problem that has plagued Simu for a long time. So let's turn off the screen. And now as the sound fades out, let's turn it back on again. And unfortunately we've been kicked out of the game. So make sure you save and back up your progress if you're going to play Simu. I have over a hundred games here I can test and I'm thinking about doing a live stream soon if you'd like to see more of them. For now let's just jump into another one like Bayonetta and see how that's running. This one's quite fun because you can choose to use either the buttons or the touch screen and both work pretty well. We can attack with our buttons or we can attack by just tapping the screen and everything works pretty well. I especially like evading by swiping the screen. So let's fight some baddies. You'll see everything's running extremely smoothly around 60 frames per second. Again, we're able to use the buttons to shoot and evade and fight, or we can just touch the screen instead. Tap the enemies to hit them, slide around to evade, which is really, really fun. It is a very fun experience that plays really nicely. So Bayonetta on Wii U, looking really good so far. Ultimate Crash Siblings is another game that looks very smooth on the portal here. It's a game I've only played for testing purposes in a couple of videos now, and this fight looks extremely unfair. Jumping into a much nicer looking map and playing a character that makes a little bit more sense in a fighting game, but the point of the video is to show it's running nice and smoothly, so I hope that comes across. And I have more than 100 games I could test, but that's going to have to be for the future. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a like and subscribe if you didn't already. If you'd like to buy your own Odin 2 Portal, which just runs so many games beautifully, then check out my affiliate link in the description to the official AYN Odin website where you can buy one. And as my Ryan Retro song was so popular in yesterday's video, it's back again here to play us out today. So thanks for watching, and until next time, I've been Ryan Retro. Ryan Retro.